So these little bits here are going to my cats. And these I'll clean up for slubber. Now, Dan Keffler's big monster blade is not the, obviously, most sensible knife in the world to choose for filleting fish. But you can see the very generous curvature here is where most of the work is done. And I'm really liking this knife a lot more than I thought I would. And I'm not 100% sure exactly what's coming together on it so far to make me like it as much as I do. But I know the design he has of the handle, uh, it's just absolutely fantastic in terms of its comfort grip up here and the ability to work up around the blade. So in fact, assuming you can take the weight of this in hand, and it's fairly significant, about 1.2 um, kilograms, it's rather nice. Now you do do a bit more you can get neater fillets than this, of course. And you can see I left too much meat down here on the end right here. This could have been cleaned off a bit better. There's a little bit of meat left right here. But considering what this knife is usually used for, it does a very nice job on this work. This has been served with our fish, so a relatively coarse slice. That's all we need. The knife works very well with a cutting board, mainly because of the length of it. Keeps the guard on its cutting board. tips. And again, another coarse slice. These have just been served with the fish. Sprinkle them over the top of the regular onions. Last thing now is just prepare some potatoes. I lightly bake these. So I just basically want them in eights, like that. And again, very easy to do. Mainly working with the belly just under the tip. And I'm using an exaggerated draw. That's because the blade is relatively thick, so I don't want to force it to push through. Just use a slice, and it cuts them up relatively nice like that. So these will go for a very quick season bake. <laughs> 